The first thought candle is provided uh, by an American scientist by the name of David Bohm, who's considered one of the most important voices in modern theoretical physics and quantum mechanics. Dr. Bohm developed a revolutionary theory of human cognition that sought to answer a difficult question. How does simple electromagnetic energy, when combined with our neural cells, transform into human consciousness itself? Dr. Bohm proposed that what we know to be consciousness might physically exist at the quantum or subatomic level of our combined neural field. I mean, why not? It's this very understanding of the difference between classical physics and quantum physics that's helped us to move from the vacuum tube to the microprocessor, or from copper wire to fiber optics. His theory was a quantum physics vision of our unparalleled ability to process and store a vast, finite, conscious world, as well as create an infinite, imagined world. Dr. Bohm theorized that at the quantum level, our thoughts could actually have substance and mass, like an electron or a neutrino. Now, on the subject of neutrinos, as we've recently learned through our own Canadian Nobel physicist, Dr. Arthur MacDonald, neutrinos originating from just, just the sun's EM field alone pass through our bodies at the rate of 100 trillion per second. It's a mind-boggling number. And now we know that neutrinos have mass. They actually exist. So as Dr. Bohm has suggested, is it possible that our own consciousness is a real physical entity in the unseen quantum world? 